All hell a beard, it's your boy Big B B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help you improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, we're hopping into the house of Creed. Yes, another Creed video, but well, there's here for a reason this time. Today we're talking about the top five most hyped Creed fragrances out there that actually deserve the hype. And what do you mean? What do I mean they deserve the hype? Well, in my opinion, they're actually good. Now this list ranks them from well, number five to number one and things may not be where you expect. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get down to Big Beard business. Now the first fragrance I want to talk about today is a 1995 release and it was the first Creed fragrance within my collection and I want to put it in the number five position because I'm not sure as many people talk about it as I do. I've crowned this fragrance the porcelain god and Mr. Steal Your Wife and the fragrance is none other than that of Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Now this one happens to be my number one most complimented Creed fragrance within my collection and I think that this fragrance deserves all the hype that it gets. This fragrance is milky, it's soft, and it also has a silky feel to it, and a lot of us describe this fragrance as inky. This fragrance is a marine green fresh fragrance that has black currant, you have musk within this fragrance, and then the tea note is prevalent within this particular fragrance. Now, Silver Mountain Water is one of those fragrances that I go to for almost any occasion. It's one of the most versatile fragrances in the collection because you really don't know where to put it. You can wear it in the colder weather, you can wear it in the warmer weather, and with the particular bottle that I have, the projection and longevity are still there. One of my favorite fragrances of all time, Creed Silver Mountain Water. Now, the next fragrance on our list today also has water in its name, and no, it's not royal water. This fragrance is none other than Creed's Virgin Island Water. Water. Now, Virgin Island Water is a vacation in a bottle. It's like a tropical paradise, and this one is fresh and fruity. There are a lot of citruses within the scent, and when I was in Florida, this is a fragrance that I would wear time and time and time again. This is a scent that um, I enjoy, my wife enjoys, and this will also work between multiple people in your household. So if you're on a limited budget and you want a fragrance that you can share between the two of you, or if you got all the bank in the world and you just want a fragrance that you and the missus or whoever can enjoy, this is one of those fragrances that you can do that with. Again, an extremely tropical fragrance that works. You got this coconut vibe, you got bergamot within this scent, you have some mandarin, lime, jasmine, musk, an all around great scent. I really enjoyed this fragrance. Obviously you can tell that I've gotten my wearings in on this one and I think Creed should do a new version of Virgin Island Water. That's my personal thoughts and opinions. Comment down below and let me know if you agree with that statement. Now we'll take it into the third fragrance on the today's list and this one is a fragrance that you can really wear to the office and you can wear casually. It has this watermelon thing to it and to me this fragrance is made for a boss. The fragrance is none other than Creed's Millicene Imperial or Imperial. All right, depending on how you want to say it, this scent is just Amazing. Now, there's been a lot of clones, recreations, inspired expressions on this fragrance, but none of them quite hit like the OG. Now, you could tell that this fragrance really is just one of those scents that commands attention with the gold accent. Specifically, if you have the gold bottle, that thing just stands out on a shelf. Now, to me, Millicent Imperial is still another fresh citrus marine-like fragrance from the House of Creed. Now, Millicent Imperial was also released in 1995, and they also had Silver Mountain Water released in 1995, and they were on their bull, Boo! It was going hard in the paint, dropping banger after banger. And who knew that these fragrances would still be going strong so many years later? Now, they say that this fragrance is fit for royalty, and I believe that wholeheartedly. This fragrance is really just an amazing scent. I've talked about this fragrance in weekly fragrance rotations, not only working for me, but for others who are within my work environment. Melissa Imperial is one of those fragrances when you are stepping into adulthood or you're stepping into the 
the corporate world and you want to make a statement, smell a little bit different than people in the office, but still be extremely pleasing and easy on the nose or the nostrils. And this is a fragrance that I would tell everyone to go for. Creed's Millicene Imperial deserves all the hype that it gets. Yeah, another fragrance that deserves the hype that it gets is just a top tier scent to me. And this one has been in my rotation for a while, but also some executives that I work with, this one has been in their collection for a while as well. The fragrance is none other than Creed's Green Irish Tweed. Now, Green Irish Tweed or GIT is like springtime in a bottle. This one is green, it's fresh, it's inviting, a slight bit of earthiness to the scent, and in my opinion, it's really difficult to go wrong with this scent. Now, when I did my top three most complimented Creed fragrances, I don't know, four or five years ago, then you know that this fragrance was there. Silver Mountain Water was in that number one spot. This one was in the number three spot and Creed Aventus was in the number two spot. Now, this fragrance gets a lot of hype, but I feel like this fragrance is one of those scents that has a more mature vibe to it although I don't find that this is a mature scent. And by that, I mean someone who's in their 50s or 60s can wear this fragrance and feel comfortable in doing so on a signature scent type of vibe, whereas something like Virgin Island water, you may not feel the same way. That's just my thoughts and opinions there. It does not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the masses. In addition to that, I really enjoyed the bottle on this one. I remember a few years ago, they did a Miami collection where they had two different bottles of really done up in a green and one in the orange. And it almost looked like those horse straps. I'm not sure if you, you guys know what I'm talking about or not. I'll try to put some there if I remember. But this is a great scent. Stands out. Um, over the years, obviously, the formulations have changed a bit, but this is one that I still stand by and recommend with extreme confidence. If you do not have a Creed fragrance in your collection, these five fragrances are ones you may want to start off with and at the very least get yourself a few samples and determine which one is going to work best for you. Now this next fragrance here is the last fragrance that we'll talk about today, but in my opinion it's the most hyped fragrance out there from the House of Creed and with one million, hold up, one million and one clones being created of the scent, then this one surely was a game changer. The fragrance is none other than that of Creed's Aventus. Now Aventus has been said to be the king, one of the best fragrances of all times because, well, so many fragrances have been created and modeled after it. And I think today it gets a bad rap because people say, oh, it doesn't perform like it used to, or there's so many other fragrances that smell like it for cheaper prices, but there can only be one. <laughs> like the matrix here so listen if you don't have the coin for creed aventus i understand if you're not a fan of creed aventus i understand or if you have other fragrances that you smell like nishane's hachivat and you say you know what this is a little bit better it's a little bit better than what's available today i understand but you can't take away from what creed aventus has done over the years and what the house of creed will likely do in the future because i think they're dropping gems all right those are five of the most hyped fragrances from the house of creed and in layman's terms if you're looking to try out the house of creed these are five that you should start with and I think you will enjoy. I'll leave all the details on these fragrances down below in case you wanna check them out. They'll be there for you. So that's all I got for you guys and girls out there today. As always, I'm your boy, Big B Bean. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.